Dígame que Isabel está bien. She is, but she's hurt her ankle, so we'll have to go back and get her. No, no podría soportar molestarla más. Y además, Sara me dice que usted tiene algo importante que hacer. Por favor, deje que los amigos de Isa se ocupen de ella desde aquí. You'll need a couple of people and a lot of rope to get her out. Voy a reunirlos ahora mismo. ¿Dónde está exactamente? Take the main road across the river, then follow the crosses. Espera, ¿las cruces? ¿Entonces encontró algo? She found the crypt Manu told her about. ¿Lo hizo? ¡Eso es maravilloso! Ah, estoy muy feliz por ella. Debí acompañarla y me siento terrible por su tobillo. Pero a pesar de eso, esta es la aventura con la que Isa siempre soñó. She also suggested that maybe Sarah could be a member of her rescue party. Ah, es una gran idea. Me aseguraré de eso. Y hablando de Manu y sus locas historias, si está buscando algo escondido por aquí, probablemente debería hablar con él. Funcionó para Isa. Por lo general está en el patio por la misión. Y gracias de nuevo por encontrar a Isabela. No sé qué haría si... Just make sure she gets back safe. You must be Manu. ¿Quién es? ¿Quién está ahí? Ella es la que encontró el tesoro. ¿Verdad, Diego? Bien, bien. ¿Qué puedo hacer por usted? I overheard you telling the children about the Maya ruins. Por fin alguien que pone atención. Well, you were right about the crosses. Isabella followed them to a hidden crypt. Ah, lo sabía, lo sabía. Nadie escucha al viejo Manu, pero yo tenía razón. So you were. And I bet you're telling the truth about those Maya ruins. Reconozco algo en su voz. La emoción de descubrir, de encontrar algo, algún lugar oculto desde hace cientos o incluso miles de años. There is something thrilling about that, isn't there? No hay nada igual. El sabor del aire rancio y polvoriento aún me acelera el corazón. La gente moderna, esos que se dicen realistas, se cierran a un mundo de posibilidades. No podrían creer las cosas que vi. Ah, lo que daría por ver eso de nuevo, una última vez. Perhaps I could be your eyes, your witness of those Maya ruins. <coughs> Podría ser eso. Si... Do you remember where the ruins were? Vaya, ¿dónde estaban? Recuerdo un lago, un lago con tres cascadas. Me gustaría darle una mejor referencia. Pero han pasado tantos años. I should be able to find it. And when I do, I'll come back and tell you all about it. Si hiciera eso por mí, hacer realidad esa historia sería... sería tan... Say no more, Manu. I'll find it. Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. These notes were written by the founder of the second seven. We're talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. A heron and an eclipse. Under his wings, you may seek refuge. Under his wings. And under his wings, you may seek refuge.
tardaremos eternidad. The others are worried that brothers de la Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far maintained they will, that they always have. But in my heart, I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them, and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above and bless our continued labors. The door closed and a silence settled. So great and so vast, I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild, a smile screwed across his face. He came toward me, arms outstretched, and for a moment fear flickered across my heart. But he pulled me close, his fingers digging into my shoulders. I found it, he whispered in my ear, and releasing me, he wandered through this room. Walls of pure jade reaching up to the heavens, completely covered in intricate etched mosaics and carved figures. I followed at a distance as he approached an altar and watched as he lifted a silver box from it. This cross, it looks like it's from the 17th century. Twenty-sixth of December, 1603. Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan breakfast. This is where we were meant to be, he said, a cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution, how he had acted in error, but now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said, pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. We will prepare the path for the chosen one to follow, for only he who does will be worthy of this box. Jonah! This book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. John, son of Zebedee, one of Jesus' apostles, also called the Beloved Disciple, he and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper, which prompted Christ to start calling them Boanerges, sons of thunder. John is credited with writing five books of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, the three epistles of John, and the Book of Revelation. He is the patron saint of love and loyalty, as well as writers, publishers, and scholars. One of his symbols is a serpent in a cup which is linked to his patronage of victims of poisoning and burns. be darkened and the moon will not give its light. Jonah, those two Bible quotes, 
The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does it mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. This roughly drawn sketch shows St. John repelling a demon attack. Perhaps they plan to have this as one of the frescoes in the mission. Brother de la Cruz appeared one day, emerging from the jungle, breathing new life into the mission. There were just the three of us when he arrived, and Sister Dorothea had been ill for many weeks. He and his associate began to work that first day. By the next week, de la Cruz had recruited a workforce of three dozen. They have prepared the bell tower and worked the fields, planting crops. Brother de la Cruz aims to make us self-sufficient. We'd spent so long alone out here, I'd worried we'd lose God's ear. Lo and behold, we not only had his ear, but he sent another to act as his hands as well. Stone faces weep as Jesus creeps along the Dolores path. Too many died. More will still, and more will still, and more will still. His light leads the way. There's a whole mural under here. <clears throat> <clears throat> Veracruz, the true cross. Is that what I think it is? The silver box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah. It's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. When we find the box, how do we get the key back from Dominguez? We'll find a way. 25th of December, 1603. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We traveled in silence and in circles guided by a confusion of grief, relief, and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange warriors. They had grown close over the journey, Try as I might, I could not console him. So I built a fire and waited, as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces. Edsley is young to have all that responsibility. It must be pretty hard for him. 
I can only imagine. Found something? Yeah. Jesus takes up the cross. Help me lift this. Looks like a long way down. Let's see where this leads. Station two. Jesus falls the first time. There's an inscription here. Ambulate dum lucem habitis. Walk while you have the light. Behind a cross somewhere? Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. Sounds like a hint. Or a threat. This looks like the Virgin Mary. Station 3. Jesus meets his mother. The mirror looks dusty. Look, someone else got close. He wasn't as lucky. There's a woman in this one. He's fallen. I'll give you a boost. Hey, it worked. The light leads this way. Oh, what happened to these people? Looks like the light activated something. Laura! Are you all right? You're lucky it was a little rusted. <sighs> this must be Station 4. Yeah. Let's have a look at these frascos.
You'll have to use the light beam to follow the stations of the cross. These people look like they were tortured. Oh, look at this. I don't think this was just a crypt. second time. Ugh. Lara, is that what I think it is? The Stations of the Cross again. But with mummies. Isn't this sacrilegious? Not necessarily. They could have been paying the ultimate homage. Or they were just sick. This must be Station 6. Looks like a church. These ones are posed like monks. Uh-huh. <laughs> so Lopez staged the whole crucifixion with Religious. I think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. Literally. I guess this is a sect from the pamphlet. Mm -hmm. Ugh, this is disgusting. I'm glad I wasn't around when Lopez He's was. wiping his face, I think. They're lifting him. That inscription. Do not fear those who kill the body, but are him. unable to kill the soul. Is that meant for us? Don't let Lopez get in your head. He's caused enough trouble already. Okay, let's do this. He's carrying the cross. I think he's taking up the cross. Jesus, nailed to the cross. to follow the Stations of the Cross. the first step of the crucifixion. Not sure. Maybe it's on that pamphlet. They're carrying him.
strange there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Jesus takes up the cross, falls the first time, meets his mother. Then Veronica wipes his face before he falls the second time. Then he is crucified and finally entombed. Looks like a church. These ones are posed like monks. Uh -huh. She's wiping his face, I think. So Lopez staged the whole crucifixion. I think he's taking up the cross. I think this was a place of worship for an underground. Have to use the light beam to follow the stations of the crop. Mm -hmm. Fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul. Is that meant for us? Don't let Lopez get in your head. He's caused enough trouble already. had his disciple wall him in and then bang no witnesses Only the hands of the Righteous One may seize destiny from mine. I guess it's you then. He led us on this goose chase. He sabotaged every clue. All to keep this box from Trinity. And the people of Paititi. 
totally consumed by it. Where is she? I don't know. I just need the box. Fuck you! Well, I guess we're done here. Release him, and I will give you the box. Laura, what are you doing? I've lost enough people. <laughs> I know you have. Your father was brilliant. He was taken from me before I could know. He was my friend. But he was obsessed, relentless. You didn't know him. He refused to see the potential for destruction in his work. He had to be stopped. You had him killed. He was going to lead the public to Paititi. Everything I love, everything I fought for. My world would have been destroyed. And what about my world? Oh, come on, Lara. You can't think it's the same. It is to a nine-year-old girl. I was a child. There was too much at stake. An entire civilization, hundreds of years of independence, thousands of lives. I had no choice. There's always a choice. It's not too late. You can honor Unaratu and restore the sun. No. The threat must be removed. You're a low, selfish, murdering coward. And you, Lara, how many lives have you ended? Hmm? In pursuit of what? <laughs> <laughs> 